Welcome to Write Photo Studios Food Edition. Today, I'll be showing you how to make my very own special coconut jerk spice chicken tortellini. You will need three large chicken breasts cut into bite-sized pieces. You will also need these four spices. One teaspoon of thyme, a half teaspoon Caribbean jug, a quarter teaspoon chili powder. Oh, see how beautiful this looks. I like the green from the thyme, the brown from the Caribbean jerk spice, and the red from the chili. And last but not least, for extra warmth, a whole teaspoon of cumin powder. I love cumin. Mix the four spices in a small bowl. The colors all blend together to get this fabulous brown color. Mmm, you should smell this. It is divine. Mixing the spices together allows for even distribution. Sprinkle the spice blend onto the chicken. Start in with a spoon to coat the chicken evenly. You want to be able to taste the spice in every single bite. Now, to cook the chicken, I use butter. Each stick has markings to show you what a tablespoon looks like. Just make a mark, unwrap, and cut the amount that you need. I need about two tablespoons of butter. Melt the butter in a hot skillet, and before it browns, add the chicken. You should smell the chicken as it browns. Oh, smells so good. Don't forget to cover to let cook for about eight minutes. Meanwhile, prepare the rest of your ingredients. Here I have diced half an onion. I like the onion cut into a medium dice. I also have green onion. This spring onion is from my little garden. I love the green and the brightness of it. It's so fresh, so organic, so good to cook with. I also add garlic. Take about three cloves, peel off the outer skin, and then place one clove at a time into a garlic press to mince. Add the garlic. This adds another layer of flavor that goes very well with the chicken. Then, here comes our magic ingredient. I add a whole can of coconut milk. You want the coconut because it's what will give your chicken that delicious, creamy, tasty flavor. Another special ingredient is cilantro. If you have not used this herb, you will love it. In Kenya, we call this herb denier. We use it in beef stew, ham and bean stew, in fish, and samosas. It has an aromatic flavor that is unique, tasty, and mouth-watering. Now, let's stir that into a coconut and cover and heat through. Now, it's time for the tortellini. I've selected this pasta because of its shape and flavor. It is roundish, ring-shaped, with an indentation in the middle and stuffed with cheese. Typically, this pasta is served with a broth. I imagine it will go very well with my coconut jack chicken. Fill a medium-sized pot halfway with water. Turn heat on and bring the water to a boil. It is essential that the water be hot before you add the pasta. Gently add the tortellini into the boiling water. A little bit at a time to avoid splashing. The pasta will cook in about 5 minutes. Don't forget to set the timer. After 5 minutes, drain your tortellini. You want to try and get all the water out. I let mine sit for a few more minutes. And it's now ready to serve. Spoon the tortellini into the bowls. Then spoon the coconut jack chicken. And don't forget to add that extra Coconutty sauce. Allow it to soak into your tortellini. For color, sprinkle in some spring onion. Look at the contrast. Isn't that beautiful? You could also add shredded coconut, parsley, or even some Parmesan cheese. There you have it. A simple and easy to make dish from Right Photo Studios. A delicious coconut jerk spice chicken tortellini for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching. 